Disclaimer, please read the entire thing. The following video is intended for religious and spiritual purposes only. I do not believe in nor promote diet culture in any way. I am not promoting any regimen to follow for any purpose other than my own journey. Please do not attempt, especially without guidance of a general practitioner or for any reason in regards to changing your weight. I will not be discussing any weight lost or gain through my experience. If you suffer from any eating disorders, this video may trigger you. Please call the National Eating Disorders Hotline at 1-800-931-2237 for help if needed. Are you going? Okay, so this is my first meal. Calorie of any kind. I've literally only had water and electrolyte supplements in 21 days. And I'm about to break my fast and I'm so excited. So here we go. Oh yeah, we have salad so stuff. Good. That tastes so good. I can't even do that part. Oh my, oh my gosh, this is so good. What are you drinking? This is chicken broth. And then I made some chicken, but I'm probably not going to be able to finish it all. My eyes are probably bigger. So I'm literally so full. I had half my broth, half my chicken, and then a little bit of that because it's so spicy. And then obviously I'm not eating my chip because that's a no-no. But I just used it for a spoon. <laughs> okay, hi. Um, I've already broken my fast and my stomach hurts a little bit because I had something spicy. That was so stupid. Um, but I'm hoping everything just feels okay. Do y'all hear the donkeys? I'm like up north California. So there's donkeys. <laughs> Um, but honestly, I just want to talk to you guys about my experience. Again, I just want to reiterate, this is not for weight loss. I will not be discussing how much weight I lost or gained. I will not be discussing any of it. So if you're here for that, sorry, I'm not going to give it to you. Um, this was intently for religious purposes only. So I go to a church called California Worship Center and my pastor, Pastor Warren Campbell, did a 21 day fast and I decided to join him for spiritual reasons you know I went through a weird I've been going through some stuff like just personally and some guys like you know some of it's about boys some of it's just about life and direction and purpose and I needed to learn self-discipline and my ex had actually said that he's like maybe you should do a fast for self-discipline I was sitting on it and then this opportunity came up and I'm like this is perfect you know let me try it um never done a fast in my life before I don't really believe in fast like for weight loss or juice cleanses or any of that I don't do them I don't believe in them I don't believe in flat tummy tea I don't do any of that so to, this was my first fast that, you know, was a fast and I was nervous, but I felt called to it. So I did it and I did it for God and I did it to get closer to him in ways I've never experienced. Sorry, I'm burping. That's so disgusting. Um, but anyway, I did this fast to do that and it was a journey. <laughs> it was a journey i don't want to get too specific i do want to say i know i can't control what y'all do if you decide to do it please don't do it for weight loss it's not worth it and also um be under care of a doctor because you're not eating anything all i all i mean all i had no calories no lemon water i love them y'all know i drink lemon water y'all give me so much stuff for keeping stickers on lemons i don't do that anymore but no lemon water no coffee nothing but water and electrolytes for 21 days these little electrolyte supplements and um it was a lot but i grew spiritually in ways i don't think i would have been able to without a fast and because i was called to it i think it was much easier than if i were to do it for weight loss because i wasn't focused on my weight i was focused on like my connection to god and leaning on him this really taught me to lean on him more when i think i have to handle stuff lean on him it's okay which i think is pretty cool um I'm just on a high right now. I like just ate. <laughs> so I am going to stay keto. I know this is not about diet, but just um, for about a week, I'm going to stay keto because um, my body, if I have sugar right now, basically what can happen is I can end up in the hospital. It's really bad with a ketogenic lifestyle. You don't have sugar. So I'm going to stay keto um, for at least a week just so my body gets used to food again. Um, but then I'm no longer dieting. Like I don't, I don't really believe in diet culture at all. And I don't want that to be like any focus of this. But yeah, I just wanted to come in here and just like <sighs> breathe. I felt like it was a tough 21 days. I mean, I've done a lot. Obviously, I wasn't cooped up in the house the whole time. I was 
I was out. I was living life. I was out to dinner with friends. I went to so many friends' givings. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Um, I've been out. It's not like I just kept myself home. I've baked cookies. I've done everything. No licks and nothing. Um, it's just been so incredible. I will probably never do this again. <laughs> My church does have a fast in January. That's what he told us in church on Sunday. So I don't know how long that is. I'm assuming it's not 21 days. It's probably like seven days. Um, if I'm called to that one, I'll do it. As of right now, I'm cool. <laughs> um, only if I'm called to it, I'll do it. Um, but yeah, I'm just like in shock because I needed to learn self-discipline because the things I want to accomplish in my life, just like me, I felt as a woman, I grew so much in that 21 days because it really like, first of all, I spent so much time cooking and eating. I didn't realize how much time I spent cooking and eating until I wasn't cooking and eating. And that was actually probably my biggest problem um, because I do work from home. I'm a YouTuber. I cook every single one of my meals, every single one of them. And um, not taking three to four hours out of my day cooking my meals of various times was weird. I had had two more time and that that was hard the first couple of days because I was like, I need to fill my time to make the days go by faster. Only for the first couple of days, I felt like that. And then I realized my friend was like, hey, you're used to cooking three meals a day. <laughs> you're not cooking at all. I was like, you're right. Um, water became an issue. As you guys know, I drink hella lemon water. Water became an issue last week, my last, the third week. <sighs> This is just real. I feel like not good. Um, I had something spicy. I was stupid. Uh, but really, the last week, water was just a problem. I was not drinking enough water. I was just over it. I missed lemon water. Not a good experience. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to get into anything else because it doesn't matter at the end of the day. It's not. I'm not encouraging anyone to do this, so I'm not like going to get into it. Um, so it doesn't matter for this video, but you know. I went through it, but I thank God I went through it because I feel like I was really, 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 really able to see how I want to be perceived as a woman. And that sounds so dramatic, but it's so true. Um, 21 days in prayer and solace and focus and determination and self, like self drive like, does something to you and it's pretty awesome. So really, really grateful for that experience. Um, I'm just almost at a loss for words because it was just, I probably will never do this again, ever. <laughs> um, so I'm just like trying to wrap my head around it. Um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Tomorrow I'm just going to have turkey and ham um, and maybe some spinach dip. Maybe. Um, we'll see how I feel because I don't feel very well right now. Um, I'm going to go in and take a nap. Usually when I feel sick, I just sleep. It helps me. Um, but I'm just so grateful and I'm grateful for my support system, my friends who just been encouraging me and my church, especially Pastor Warren. Um, I talked to him and Erica Campbell on Sunday about it and I was like, hey, I know this was just a pastor fast, not a church fast, but I'm really grateful that you did this because I was called to do it too and they were really supportive of it. So that was really nice. Um... And I, even as a Christian, I think that I was shaped in a way that it made me see life a little bit more outside of my world and even interactions with people. I think the biggest one I had was with my sister's boyfriend. We used to like shoot the shit for lack of a better term with each other. And in my fast, when I was getting so close to God, things that used to be funny or jokes and jabs at each other just weren't funny anymore. And I told him, like, I was like, yo, like, I'm really sensitive to this now. Like, I don't think this is funny. I don't want to converse with you like that. I don't want to treat you like that. Even though it's fun to us, um, it's still harsh, you know? And I don't want to be harsh. I've been a lot, a lot softer after the first week. The first week I was irritable. You did not want to be my friend. <laughs> I was so irritable um, because I don't know if I've told you guys, I used to struggle with a sugar addiction. I guess I still do, but um, I've got control of it a lot um, as of... October 2017, November 2017, I've had control of it, but this 21 days without like any carb, sugar, anything, like that was a complete reset. So the first week, I think I was really irritable because, you know, that was part of my prayers. Like, God, I really want to just beat this once and for all. And I know it's not a once and for all thing, but, you know, really get control of the sugar. And I think I did because it's, it hasn't been a problem in like two years, but like I've been able to control my sugar, but, um, you know, I'm shivering. It's like 30 degrees out here, but I'm in a house full of people. Um, I just feel like 
things I've just needed to work through. I just had the opportunity to, and I said, thank God every day. God, thank you for my day. Thank you for the opportunity to grow. Thank you. Just thank you. So, um, that's why I've been off Instagram for a while. All that jazz. Um, and YouTube, but guys, I tried to work. I swear, I swear, I swear I tried to make a video for you. Um, I even made a Fashion Nova video for you guys, and I just couldn't post it, guys. I was so weak during it. I couldn't exert myself too far. I did one workout class that was so dumb. I couldn't exert myself too much, and I did filming that video. And every time I went to go film, it was just like, take the time, relax, enjoy. So it's starting to rain a little harder. It's dark. So I'm going to go back inside, but I want to thank you guys for just still being here. Um, after I feel a little better when I get home after vacation, I'm going to post my videos. I do have some fun videos coming up, but I am I just could not do it, guys. I needed to just focus on me for 21 days. I needed to focus on my real life for 21 days. And then so that way when I go back to YouTube and I go back to Instagram and I go back to my fun life, <laughs> um, I'm doing it as a place that I can from as someone I can be proud of and not like molding into i cut i saw myself molding into this girl i didn't want to be here didn't want to be her um so i just stopped posting because i was like i don't want to be her so i'm shivering so i'm gonna go inside but thank you again to everyone please again not a diet not a regimen not it was spiritual purposes only so please do not do this this is not for weight loss um so i feel like i can breathe thank you guys have a good night and happy thanksgiving see you soon Disclaimer, please read the entire thing. The following video is intended for religious and spiritual purposes only. I do not believe in nor promote diet culture in any way. I am not promoting any regimen to follow for any purpose other than my own journey. Please do not attempt, especially without guidance of a general practitioner or for any reason in regards to changing your weight. I will not be discussing any weight lost or gain through my experience. If you suffer from any eating disorders, this video may trigger you. Please call the National Eating Disorders Hotline at 1-800-931-2237 for help if needed.